In this video, I'll show you how to automatically run API commands when a particular page is loaded. Now, because this is all about the API, it does require a pro subscription. All right, so with that disclaimer out of the way, to kind of set the stage for what we're going to do today, a while back I showed you how to create interactive maps so that a player could click on a token on the map, click on this gather intel button, and then they get this little blurb about that location, and then they can click on a link to get a handout and learn more about a particular spot. And I'd say probably one of the most commonly asked questions on that video was how do I prevent my players from accidentally moving things on the map? So I've got my player view here on the right, my GM view on the left, and we can see that my player can move the tomb of Garthalor all around if they want to. So the way you fix that is with a script called token lock. And token lock is part of the standard API library in Roll20, so you can just install that. And basically what you do as the GM is just run token lock. You get a message saying that tokens are now locked. And now your players can try to move things, but they always snap back to their original locations. And that's great. But now you as the GM need to remember to lock the tokens when you're on the map and then unlock them when you move to a different page, because if I jump to a new page now, load up one of these battle maps, and then my players are in this house, right? My player can't move his token around. It's gonna snap back to that original location because the tokens are locked. So as the GM, I would need to say token lock unlock, and now my player can move their character around. But then I need to remember to relock when I go back to the map. So you see the, the challenge here. So what we're going to do is write a script that automatically calls the token lock command when we move to the world map and then unlocks it when we go anywhere else. So let's see how to do that. All right, I've already got my game's main page here. I'm going to go to settings, API scripts, and we're going to create a new script. And we're going to call this script lock on load. And let's make the editor window a little bit bigger so we can actually read what's going on here. Okay. So basically what we want to say here is when the page changes, that is when we move the player ribbon to a new page, we want to check to see if that's the world map. And if it is, lock the tokens. So for that, what we're going to say here is on change colon campaign, colon, player page ID. So when the player ribbon moves to a new page, then we're going to call function. And we're going to do whatever is in between these two curly braces here. So we'll put a semicolon. There we go. All right. So when the ribbon moves, we're going to create a new variable here. This is going to be a variable called current page equals get object and the object we're getting is a page and we're going to say campaign get player page id so this is saying you know give me a reference to the page that we have just been moved to okay now what we're going to say here is if the current page get name equals equals world map and that's what i actually named my map here if you look in the uh the page bar it's it's actually called world map so i'm making sure that the page name is world map oh and this is case sensitive so you see how i have this as lowercase world uppercase m here that matters so make sure that you have it exactly the same here because javascript is case sensitive and if it i did this world lowercase m map it would not fire so case sensitivity so if it is the world map then what we want to do is lock the tokens well how do we do that well in the ui you saw what i did i just typed in tl lock and that locked the tokens well here's the great thing about roll 20 we can actually do this in a script using the send chat command so we'll say send chat, we'll say it's coming from the API, and what we're gonna send is exclamation point TL lock. So 
we can actually send commands exactly as we would in the UI via the send chat command. And this is really handy because it opens up all kinds of doors for us. We can now call other scripts functionality using the send chat command. So let's just save this as we have it right now and wait for this to spin up. Okay, this looks good. Let's take this for a spin, right? So we're gonna come back into our, our game here and I'm gonna make sure that my tokens are all unlocked right now, just so that we have that. Okay, so tokens are unlocked and, and just to prove that, we'll go back to our uh, main screen here. All right, so my player can move their token around, awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my GM screen here, and I am going to move the ribbon to the world map. And look, it automatically fired here. It says tokens are now locked, and let's just prove that that is actually working. All right, so our player comes up here, and they grab onto the town of Setathon. They try to move it, and moves it right back. So that is locked. That is good. Okay, that's part one. Thing is, if we're not on the world map, we want to unlock the tokens. So let's go back to our script. And what we're going to put in here is an else clause now. We're going to say that if we're not on the world map, then we want to unlock the tokens. So I can just do this. I can just say send chat API comma TL unlock. Okay, we'll save that. And let's let's try this out. So now, okay, right now the tokens are locked, right? We, we saw that. So let me move this to another page. And you can see now tokens are unlocked. And if I move it to another page, tokens are unlocked again. And to another page. So you see there's a slight hiccup here. There's nothing wrong. This works just fine. But the challenge is we're constantly firing this unlock command unnecessarily. Really, we only need to fire the unlock command if we're coming off of the world map page, if, if the tokens are in fact locked. If they're not locked, then sending an unlock command is kind of extraneous. It would be great if there were a way that we could check to see, hey, are the tokens already unlocked? And if they are, don't bother. Well, there is. I mentioned earlier that token lock is part of the Roll20 API library, so you can just load it straight in from the main script page. But you can see the code, and the code is out on GitHub. I'll throw a link to it down in the bottom if anybody's interested. And in looking through the code, I can see that token lock is taking advantage of Roll20's built-in state variable. And the state variable is a variable that is accessible to all your scripts, meaning that it's this kind of collection of, of values that any script can access. And the values in state persist even when the API sandbox gets restarted. So information that gets stored in state stays in state and is accessible to all other scripts. What that means is token lock here is saying state locked equals true. Whether or not the tokens are locked is stored in this state variable. Because state is globally accessible, I can access it from the script that I'm writing right now. So what I'm going to say here is in the else clause, we're going to say if state token lock locked, now we're just going to wrap this in a curly brace and we'll indent it for readability. So if the tokens are currently locked, then send the unlock command. If they're not locked, then we're not going to do anything. So let's let's do that. Let's save the script and let's take that for a spin. Okay, so we're on the world map. Tokens are locked. Let's go ahead. Let's move to the farmhouse. All right, tokens are now unlocked. Let's move back to the world map. Tokens are locked. I'll move to the basement. We're unlocked. Now I'm going to move to the temple. Ah, nothing happened. Now I'll move back to the basement. Again, no messages. So our code is working. We're not unlocking again because, hey, we're already unlocked. So now let's move back to the world map. Locked. Back to the farmhouse. Unlocked. Over to the forest. Nothing happens. So now we are being a little bit more intelligent with our script. We're not just blindly firing the unlock command every time we go to a new page. We're only doing it if the tokens have actually been locked. 
but this gives you a whole lot of functionality and flexibility here. You can now call any other script from a script of your own. So any other bit of functionality can be invoked via the send chat command. This is a really handy feature. One last tweak that I'm gonna make before I close this out. Uh, I'm just gonna select everything here and indent it. And then I'm gonna add an on ready. So we're just gonna say on ready, comma function, open close paren. We're gonna delete this guy, add an open curly brace, come down here, close curly brace, close paren and semicolon. And basically all this is saying is we're not gonna try to execute these commands until the campaign is fully loaded. Now you know how to automatically run API commands when a page changes and how to invoke API commands from other scripts. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.